next tool that we're going to talk about is the screen capture tool. This is a tool that you can open up when you're in notebook software. It's the camera that's right smack in the middle of your icons. So if you click on it, the toolbar will appear. So let me try that again. I'm going to go ahead and close this out so you'd see that if I click on the camera, the toolbar will appear. This is called the screen capture toolbar. It is a toolbar that you can move as needed, and it also has four icons. I want you to notice that the first icon is the, called the area capture, and that's the one we're going to talk about today. This captures 90 degree angles. I'm going to show you a PDF because this is what you normally would have that you might want to capture something from. Because on a PDF document, you cannot copy and paste unless you have Adobe Writer. And most people in most schools just have Adobe Reader. So you click on the button and you get the crosshairs. And you just go ahead and start making a square around. And I want you to notice that these lines that I'm getting, this is abnormal behavior. This is something that's only happening because I'm recording right now. I was not having this problem before that. So we're going to have to kind of pretend these lines here, you will not have when you do your capture. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so it fits into the screen better. And you'll see I have my resize handle and a rotate handle and that this comes in just like an object. So now that it's in notebook, I can choose to add images, sound, I can make it interactive by either going back to my Adobe and PDF and typing these words in, or I could even make it a little bit simpler by clicking off Capture a New Page. That means everything I capture from this point will go to the page I just created. Again, do the area capture and capture the word. This word now could be used in my notebook, and I'll go back to notebook. And then a student can actually move this word and put it in the correct blank. This is now bodily kinesthetic activity that students can get up to the board and they can move. Now often we have students who have difficulty and they can't, their reading comprehension isn't as high as their auditory comprehension. And they may see the word pondered and not be able to sound it out or recognize what it means. However, if they heard the word pondered, they could. So at this point, you could actually choose to link by going to your little, get this little tiny arrow. If you click on that, you get a menu and choose sound. And I can browse for the sound and find it on my desktop. I've already created with Audacity pondered, just to show you as a reference. So I go ahead and do object. And now when a student comes up to the word pondered or they're not sure what it is, they can click on it. Pondered. Hear the word pondered and say, oh, okay. Alex gave a deep blank or they blanked the question. Oh, okay. They pondered means to think about. On the same token, I could have found images and linked those with pondered to help students see a graphic that would help them understand what pondered meant. Again, the capture tool allows you to take a simple activity that normally would be done on the overhead, make it bodily kinesthetic, make it engaging, more interactive, and also allow you to modify and differentiate it to fit your students' needs.